why don't we ask the next question? Why can't we see inside the box? Just recently, there was a forensic report relating to Dominion machines out of Antrim County, Michigan. That report was very, very critical of the functioning of the machines. It identified several flaws in how they managed the election such that the election would not be certified under federal law. Guess who fought the release of that forensic report? The Secretary of State of Michigan. Why? Why will they not allow us to see inside the box purchased by Mark Zuckerberg? It's a pretty fundamental question. And I hope some of you ask it soon. But here they're paying the election judges. They're paying the election inspectors. They're paying the people. Zuckerberg money is paying the people that determine what ballots to count and how they're going to be counted and the machines that tabulate them. CTCL has tried to engage in a PR campaign to respond to this. This is from their own site. And this is how they say that they allocated the monies. You'll see drop boxes and drive through voting. Look at the staffing. Most of it has been to pay election officials or additional absentee ballot supplies and training and encouragement for voters to engage in the absentee ballot and voter education. Safety is one of the last and least funded concerns. There's something else as it relates to that that's important to recognize. Zuckerberg money also consolidated the counting centers. So what used to be a small room based on a ward became a football-sized complex facility based on a city. They claimed they needed to do that for COVID. But what it really did, and it doesn't make much sense, by the way, to create a crowd for COVID, what it did do is allow them to put Republicans on the outside so they couldn't see what was happening on the inside, and then additionally allowed for hundreds of thousands of ballots to be brought to one location. How did they do that? We just know that a week or two ago, we had Jesse Morgan on this stage, a truck driver out of Pennsylvania, who testified on an affidavit that he picked up a load of completed ballots in Bethpage, New York, drove them across the state line of New York to New Jersey, New Jersey to Pennsylvania, and when he finally delivered them, all kinds of things didn't go normally. And then his trailer disappeared with a quarter of a million completed ballots from Beth Page. We corroborated his story by speaking with an, an expediter, a dock worker in Beth Page, New York, who stated that she saw this happen on multiple occasions. Ballots being loaded on trucks from a facility that doesn't even receive mail to process it. It only deals with bulk packaging. We have turned over that information to the Postal Service Office of Inspector General. And to date, the only investigation I'm aware of that they've done is to try to question Jesse's mother during a week when she was burying her own mother who died from stroke and speaking to Jesse's ex-wife. American institutions are failing. Faith in Americans, uh, our institutions, is at an all-time low. It appears that people are not doing their job. And I would hope that you and the media would help us make sure that these persons and institutions do their job. James, if you could step up here and explain how these cities had sufficient funding and didn't need the CTCL money. 